think a lot of companies are happy that they cleared their initial hurdle with say on pay, but I think the question that's now coming to the forefront is what does it really mean to say you've passed, set, passed say on pay? Uh, certainly from a um, legal sense, yes, it's more than 50 percent, but and while the focus to date has been on the roughly 30 companies that have gotten less than 50 percent, we, there's a growing number of companies that are, I think it's roughly about 300 right now, that are in that range between 50 percent and 79 percent who are wondering are they going to face consequences next year from their institutional holders because their vote turnout was less than the 90 percent number that's characterizing roughly two-thirds of the say on pay proposal. And those companies in that 50 to 80 percent range are a lot of uh, large cap, well-known names. Uh, you've got J.P. Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, uh, Disney, uh, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, uh, Allstate, the list goes on and on. For those folks, I think the issue is going to start to be, what does it really mean to have passed, say, on pay? And I think that's going to be an issue increasingly companies are going to have to deal with uh, as they try and sort of uh, satisfy the norm, let's say, of a 90% vote.